Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, Basement Waterproofing Ninja. I got a great basement finishing tip for you about what to do to keep mold from growing in your basement. Stay tuned. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, Basement Waterproofing Ninja, we talk about everything related to basements, attics, crawl spaces, and ductwork, indoor air quality, insulation, things like that. So I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. There's a lot of basement waterproofing companies out there all over the country, and all of them are, are pretty good, if not very good, at addressing standing water. A lot of times they'll put in some kind of interior waterproofing system that goes below the slab. There's even a baseboard system that goes above the slab. You can also waterproof on the outside, extending downspouts, even putting in French drains and things like that. But none of those things addresses what I think is the number one cause of mold and indoor air quality problems inside the home, which is humidity. I want you to think about this for a minute. Even though your basement is waterproofed, even though maybe you, you uh, did the last uh, recommendation I did about uh, waterproofing the floor, and I'll put a video to that down below. You may have done those things. You still could have a high humidity problem. Installing either a whole home dehumidifier, if you've got central heat and air in your basement, you can install it with the HVAC system to blow dry air through the ductwork so that way all the basement is covered. If you've got a really open basement, you can just put the dehumidifier maybe in a mechanical room or in the side away from everything so that it runs and controls the humidity in the basement. That is gonna lower dew point places. If you don't have your floors insulated, you know, you got cold floors and you got heat, dew point can happen right there. It will control that so that you have no condensation on the flooring. If your windows, or maybe not double pane, especially if you're up in cold climates, that'll lower that dew point so your windows aren't sweating, different things like that. Even if you have an unfinished basement, you should always control humidity. Remember, 50% of the air in either the crawl space or the basement eventually makes its way up into the living space. And we did a great video with uh, Brian from April Air talking about how viruses and bacteria and all those things grow in really low humidity, and really high humidity. So we recommend you have the humidity between basically 45% relative humidity and 55% relative humidity. So if you have a basement, if you have a crawl space and you're not running a dehumidifier, I would certainly recommend you get one. And that's my tip for finishing your basement. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, Basement Waterproofing Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.